Hello everyone, welcome to the Easy and Basic Mathematics channel. Our today's topic is adding mixed fractions. Yep, let's start with question one. We have a mixed fraction of two and one third plus one and one third. The first things we do with mixed fraction, we convert it into normal fractions. Let me grab a pen. So what we do, we multiply the denominator by two and add with, with, the, with the numerator. So three times two is six plus one is seven. So we write it down as seven on the numerators and we bring the three down into the denominators. We move along the plus sign as it is. Do the same thing for the second fraction. Three times one is three. Three plus one is four. We bring the denominator as it is. So now we got a normal adding fractions. So we we got the same denominator. We take them three as the common factors. So three divided by three is one, one times seven is seven. We move along the plus sign as it is. Do the same thing for the second fraction. Three divided by three is one, one times four is four. We add seven and four, it's 11, and we bring three as it is. So this is our solution, 11 over three, but this is improper fraction. You want to write down as a mixed fraction. So, it's a 3 and a 2 third. So our solution is 3 and a 2 third. Moving on to our second question. We have a um, 3 and 1 quarter a plus 1 and 1 quarter. Again, we convert to our mixed fraction into normal fraction. Multiply the denominator by 3. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus our numerator is 1, it is 13. We bring our denominator down as it is 4, we bring the plus sign as it is, we do the same thing for the second fraction, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, bring our denominator as 4 as it is. Now we got a normal adding fractions and we, we have the um, same Denominators, we take a common factor 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 13 is 13. So we move along the plus sign as it is and then do the same thing for the second fraction. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. We add 13 and 5, which is 18, and we bring um, along the 4 as it is. So now top and bottom is divisible by 2. So 18 goes into 2 9 times, and then 4 goes into 2 2 times. So our solution is 9 over 2, but this is an improper fraction. We want to write down as a mixed fraction. So our solution is now uh, 4 and half. Yep, moving on to question 3. We have a mixed fraction of 3 and half plus 4 and half. Again, we want to convert to uh, first thing we do, we, we convert our mixed fraction to normal fractions. Let's start. So we multiply our denominators 2 times 3 and add it with uh, our numerators 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. We bring our denominators this 2. We, we bring our plus sign as well as it is. We do the same thing for the second fraction or times our denominators by 4. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. We bring over denominator as it is. So now we go over normal adding fractions. And we have a, we have a common denominator here. So we take a common factor of 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 7 is 7. We move along over plus sign. And we do the same thing for the second fraction. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 9 is 9. So we add our numerator 7 plus 9 is 16 and we move along over 2 as it is. Now top and bottom is divisible by 2. 16 goes into 2 8 times and 2 goes into 2 once. So our solution is 8. 
Moving on to question four, we have four and one fifth plus three and one fifth. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions. Let's start. So five times four is twenty. Twenty plus one is twenty-one. When we bring over denominator as it is, we bring over plus sign as well, and then we do the same thing for the second fraction. Five times three. 15 15 plus 1 is 16 we bring our denominator as it is now we have our normal adding fractions and we have um same denominators so we take a common factor 5 and then 5 divided by 5 is 1 1 times 21 is 21 so we move along our plus signs we do the same thing for the second fraction 5 divided by 5 is 1 1 times 16 is 16 so we add our 21 and 16, it's 37, and we move along over 5 as it is. Now, this can't be simplified any further, and um, our solution is 37 over 5, but this is the improper fraction, you want to write down as a mixed fraction, so our solution is now 7 and 2 fifths. Let's start with question 5. We have another mixed fraction of 1 and 1 sixth plus 2 and 1 sixth. Again, we convert mixed fraction to our normal fractions. So let's start. We, we multiply our denominators 6 times 1, 6, and plus our numerators 1, which is 7. We bring our denominators as it is, bring our plus sign as it is. We do the same thing for the second fraction, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13, and we bring our um, 6 as it is, our denominators. Now we have our normal adding fractions, so and we have the uh, same denominators, we have a common factor, we take a 6 as a factor. So 6 divided by 6 is 1, 1 times 7 is 7, we move our plus sign over, and then we do the same thing for the second fraction, 6 divided by 6 is 1, 1 times 13 is 13. So now 7 plus 13 is 20, and we move along with 6 as it is. Now top and bottom is divisible by 2, so 20 goes into 2 10 times, and 6 goes into 2 3 times. So our solution is 10 over 3, but this is an um, yeah, improper fraction, we want to write down as a mixed fraction, so this is 3 and 1 third, so our solution is 3 and 1 third. Moving on to question 6, we have 2 and 1 7 plus 3 and 1 7. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions. So 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. And we bring our denominator as it is. We bring our plus sign as it is. And we do the same thing for the second fraction. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 1 is 22. So we bring our uh, denominator as it is, 7. And now we have our normal adding fractions, and we have the uh, same denominators. So we take a common factor of 7. So 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times 15 is 15. And we move along our plus signs over. We do the same thing for the second fraction. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times 22 is 22. Now we add 15 and 22, which is 37. And we move along over 7 as it is. We can't simplify any further. So, and this is our solution. But since it's um, improper fractions or top heavy fraction, we, we write down as a mixed fraction, which is 5 and 2 sevenths. So, the solution is 5 and 2 sevenths. Let's move on to question 7. We have 3 and a half plus 2 and 1 third. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions. We multiply our denominators 2 times 3, 6, add our numerators 1 is 7, and we move um, our um, denominator as it is, uh, we bring our plus sign as it is, we do the same thing for the second fraction, 3 times 2, 6, add 1, 7, and we bring our denominator as it is. Now we have our normal adding fractions, and we don't have um same denominators, so 
we multiply 2 and 3 to get a common factor. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is the factors of 2 and 3. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. We move along our plus signs. Do the same thing for the second fraction. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. We add 21 and 14, which is 35. And we move along our denominators as this, 6. And um, this is our solution. But since it's um, improper fractions, you want to write down as a mixed fraction. So it's a 5 and 5 sixths is our final solution. Moving on to equation 8, we have 1 and 1 fifth plus 2 and a half. Again, we want to convert it into normal fraction first. So we multiply our denominators 5 times 1 is 5, add our numerators 1 is 6. We bring our denominators to this. We remove our plus signs here to this and do the same thing for the second fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. And we bring down our denominators to this. Now we have our normal adding fractions and we don't have a common um, denominator. We have to multiply 5 with 2 to get a common factor. So 5 to multiply 2 times 2 is 10 and 10 is a common factor for 5 and 2. So 10 divided by 5 is 2, 2 times 6 is 12. We move along our plus signs, we do the same thing for the second fraction, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 times 5 is 25. We add 12 and 25 which is 37, we move along our denominators 10 and 6. Now this is uh, our solution, but since it's an improper fraction or top heavy fraction, we want to write down is a in a mixed fraction, so it's a 3 and 7 over 10 is our final solution. Moving on to equation 9, we have 2 and a half plus 3 and 1 quarters. The first things we do, we convert our mixed fractions to normal fractions. So let's start. We multiply our denominator 2 times 2 is 4. We add our numerators 1, which is 5. And we bring our denominator as this. We bring our plus sign as this. We do the same thing for the second fraction. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 30. We bring our denominator as this. And now we have our normal uh, adding fractions. So we, we don't have the same denominators, but we have a common factor. 4 is a factor, so which is divisible by 4 and 2. Uh, 4 is uh, 4 divided by 2. It's 2, 2 times 5 is 10. Move along our plus signs. Do the same thing for the second fraction. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 13 is 13. We add 10 and 13, which is 23. We move along our 4 as it is. And our solution is 23 over 4. But this is an improper fraction. We want to write down a, as a mixed fraction. So our final solution is 5 and 3 quarters. Moving on to our last question, question 10. We have 1 and 2 third plus 2 and half. Again, we, we convert our mixed fraction to normal fractions. We multiply our denominator 3 times 1 is 3 plus our numerators 2 is 5. We bring down our, our denominators 3 as it is. We bring our plus sign as it is. Do the same thing for the second fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. We bring our denominators to this. Now we have our normal adding fractions. We don't have a common denominators, so we have to multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 is a factor of 3 and 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. We move along our plus sign as this. We do the same thing for the second fraction. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. We add 10 and 15, which is 25. And we move along our denominator 6 as this. So our solution is 25 over 6. But this is improper fraction. We want to write it down as the next fraction. So our final solution is 4 and 1 sixth. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.